Hello and welcome to the Keys of the Kingdom Holy Bible YouTube channel and to part three of this holy fire. This holy fire is that we might pray for our protection and deliverance and for the destruction of our enemies and that we might be joyful. Now why did the Lord Jesus say to pray your kingdom come? if we are not to be a part of this. Indeed, we have holy fire. Jeremiah 23, 29 Is my word not like fire? Is my word not like a hammer that cracks rock in pieces? So are we going to sit back and join in the idle Western culture and just hope some president comes along and sorts it all out? We have the Spirit of God and the Spirit of Christ in us. Romans chapter 8 verse 9 You are not in flesh but in spirit, if indeed the Spirit of God inhabits you. But if anybody does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. You, I hope, have the Spirit of God and the Spirit of Christ. John the Baptist said of Jesus, he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. This is what you need, what we need, the Spirit of God and the Spirit of Christ. Spirit of God in Greek is pneumatheu, and the Spirit of Christ in Greek is pneuma Christu. If we do, ha do not have this, that passage says, we are not his. But we have this. Now, I've been citing from Leviticus 26 verse 9 that it only needs 100 of us to put to flight tens of thousands of our enemies. Imagine the effect if there were 10,000 of us, if there were tens of thousands of us. And I actually do believe that there are, but we have to be united. And we have to have a single vision. Now I believe the prayers of the prophets. I believe the prayers of the sons of Israel who when they turned to God and inquired of him they were delivered from their enemies. And I believe the Lord's prayer, your kingdom come, your will be done. Zacharias, the father of John the Baptist, on hearing of the birth of the Messiah, said that with him comes the hope of Israel that deliverance from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. Luke one seventy one, And in Luke one fifty two, Mary the mother of Jesus prophesied of him, he has hurled down all potentates. So your kingdom come. This is what something we should pray and we are part of this. And one of the prayers that we can pray is from Psalm 83. This is a prayer for protection, for deliverance from our enemies and from the destruction of our enemies who wish to destroy us. And so I pray this prayer with all my heart and I have it on my lips. So here it is, Psalm 83, from the Keys of the Kingdom Bible. Do not keep silence, O God. Do not hold your peace and do not be still, O God. For look, your enemies are making an uproar like waves of the sea, and those who hate you have lifted their head they have taken up crafty counsel against your people and conspired against your hidden people. They have said, Come and let us cut them off so that they should be a people no more, so that the name of Israel might no longer be in remembrance. For they have conspired together with a single heart. They have cut a covenant against you, the tents of Edom, and the Ishmaelites. Moab and the Hagarites, Gibal and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines with inhabitants of Tyre, and Esur is joined with them, they helped the sons of Lot. Salah, that means pause and think about that. 
do to them as to the Midianites, as to Sisera, as to Jabin at the Kishon Brook, who perished at Endor, they became as dung for the soil. Make their nobles like Oreb and like Zeb, yes, all their princes like Zeba and like Zalmunna, who said, Let us take for ourselves the pleasant pastures of God for an inheritance. O oh my God, make them like swirling dust, like straw before wind, as fire burns a wood, and as the flame sets the mountains on fire, so persecute them with your tempest, and terrify them with your storm. Fill their faces with shame, so that they might search for your name, O Lord. Let them be confounded from and troubled from eon to eon. Yes, let them be put to shame and perish, so that they might know that you, whose name is Yahweh, are God most high over all the earth. Amen. Now that verse 17, let them be confounded and troubled from eon to eon, shows us that this is an ongoing battle and prayer, that it's not just for the time it was written, but this extends into the new covenant. God bless you all. Amen.